chatting right now to Channa Daswatha, who is a trustee of the Jeffrey Bauer Trust and also an eminent architect in his own right and someone who's actually spent a lot of time working with Jeffrey Bauer. Channa, thanks so much for chatting to me. Can you tell me your opinion of the exhibition now that you've walked through the space and kind of taken it all in? What are your impressions? Sure, I think, um, I mean, I was part of making it, but really from outside, there was more critique than, than someone who instigated the ideas. And I find, what I find very interesting is that the views that's expressed in the exhibition are those of a generation who didn't know Jeffrey personally, but know his work and know the work through the drawings. So Shari De Silva, the curator and the rest of the team have come up with what they feel is important about their work in the context of Sri Lanka and who we are as a nation today. So I think that's for me pretty important that uh, uh, another generation perhaps too removed from me understand that the work, the experimentation, the efforts that were put for or put out by the generation before me are still important and still worthy of celebration and worthy of learning from. And I think that's what the exhibition brings. I was particularly interested in the, the section that deals with works that weren't built. That's what I think, uh, that's why I think an archive is so important. Because sometimes archives, I mean, architectural drawings often get thrown away. Uh, I mean, I for one, I mean, throw most of my sketches away. But I now realize that an archive is really about ideas. It's not those pieces of paper that we keep. It's the ideas that, can, that, can, that are contained in them. And that bit of unbuilt work, I think, is extraordinary. And, I, and I'm really amused by a, a project that Jeffrey does for Yala, which is a kind of dune hotel, right? And, 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 and he tries, of course, vlogging it to some client, and they don't take it. And then he tries sort of giving it to another client in Goa, because he's so keen on the idea. And that's something really special about the man, because he, if he had an idea in his head, he wasn't, he, he, didn't, he didn't sit and stay still until he managed to get it done. And that, I think, is extraordinary. And, and wonderfully, uh, and, and great about a creative person. I've got this idea, I've got to somehow get it done. And, 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 and that's really what it's about. Um, that Dune Hotel is stunning. I don't, know, I don't know who was not in their right mind for rejecting that, because I think it's gorgeous. It's like, it's like Hobbiton before Hobbiton existed. Absolutely, and what's wonderful about that project is uh, what we see, what we're showing is only the Dune Hotel. But in fact, he had two other kinds of hotels. There were tree houses and there were rock houses, almost like Flintstones. And you're thinking, I mean, was the man making a step for Star Wars about 20 years before, you know? <laughs> so you worked with him closely. You, um, I don't know if I can say the word studied, but you trained under him and you worked very closely with him. What, did you work with him on some of the drawings on display? Yes, yes I did. Um, I mean, it was a great privilege to be working with somebody like Jeffrey Bauer. Although when you're working with someone like that, you don't notice it because he was such a polite person. And there was never sort of that ego. I mean, I think all architects have egos, but he didn't throw it at you. So you didn't realize what an important person he was until you, you know, 20 years after he sort of stopped working uh, and, and people are still looking at his work and you think, oh my God, he must really have been serious. Um, and yes, I mean, my first project with him in 1991, more than 30 years ago, um, was the Kandalama project. Um, so while most of the others are before my time, the Kandalama, the last project on the whole, whole of that, uh, is the first project I worked on. Uh, a, a wonderful team of young people at the time. He didn't have the big office of Edwards Riedenberg, which he worked on all the other projects with, uh, but it was a simple practice. Uh, with, 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 with wonderful work, P people like Sumangala Jayatilaka and Amila Dimel, Dilshan Ferdinando working with us and we were a very close-knit team and Kandalama was an extraordinary project because it became the most important project for the environmental movement in Sri Lanka and to think that architecture brought about uh, the concern for the environment and of course Baba had thought about all those things that would mitigate uh, the issues that were brought up, at least it also awakened the country to say, look at the environment, it's important. 
and, and, and I feel really very privileged to have been a part of that particular project. And uh, while none of my drawings, unfortunately, are in the, in the, in the exhibition, um, I was very much a part of uh, making that hotel and I really feel proud about it. Uh, that hotel will be 30 years old in a few years and it really feels pretty, um, pretty advanced for its time. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, well, thank you very much, Channa.